Welcome back to ARB! So you guys made some stuff for me and I'm really excited. I challenged you to make epic flying creations that flew really well. And at the end of the last video I figured out how to make something fly very well. Uh, well, uh, very close to it. And uh, today I'm <laughs> excited to see what you guys have made and uh, what you've come up with. So let's get right into it. So in the last one, I challenged you guys to make me flying creations that flew really well. And I gotta play with this first because somebody said there's a way to actually make this fly. And so I'm going to put in some guys with the axes and we're going to have them fight this guy and we'll see how it goes. Uh, does the weapon that's mounted automatically go or what? I'm going to possess this unit and we're going to fly through the air. Oh, here I am. So they said you just press space a bunch of times to fly. Whoa, we're getting up off the ground. Go higher. Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's not working. He said press space over and over again to fly. There I'm going. Ah, I'm how, how, how fast do I have to slam on it? Do I have to slam on it really hard? Or will I just... Let me back up once. Let's take this guy in. I'm just like slamming on my space bar. And it didn't seem to really work. Let me let me select the guy real fast. Is that, isn't that how I do it? There we go. And then F. Okay. Uh, It doesn't seem to be working. He says just press spacebar over and over and over again, but I don't seem to be getting off the ground at all. Help! Well, I mean, I'm I'm kind of I'm hopping. Oh, now I'm moving. Oh, I'm actually kind of flying now. Okay, they're coming at me. I mean, I'm kind of flying. I don't think I'm getting any higher than just kind of a basic hop, though. But I am definitely flying in the air a little bit. Like right here, I'm just kind of cruising along the ground. But I can't really control it at all. But he definitely is flying. <laughs> kind of. I think we'll play something else. Uh, this is kind of cheating. That, of course, is going to fly. It's a pterodactyl. I'm not going to use that thing. I'm going to use this. The Entac UFO. And we'll start with this one. Let's first analyze. There must be a actual living thing inside there because that's the only way you can get things to fly. You can't use the robots. The robot base can't do it. You have to actually uh, use a flying thing. See, see right now it's not actually taking up off the ground. Probably because it's a UFO. I mean, uh, <laughs> it is a UFO, but it's it's a robot base. It's not actually a uh, something alive or walking, which is, which is the trick. You have to have something that actually is alive in there see it's the robot base no matter how high up off the ground you put it it actually won't fly we have another ufo this one derped out when i put it down the last time maybe let's start it see it won't even fly it looks cool definitely uh z zapping around yeah it doesn't really uh let us i think it'll land let's let it land might have to move it back. Land it upside down. Uh, I don't know. It's very unfortunate, but the robot base just doesn't work currently. I like the way it looks, though. It's pretty cool. I like the glowing orb thing. But this is uh, not a flying creation. And that's kind of the idea. Now, this one, though. This one is probably going to fly. But I'm I'm looking... My, my goal is to find one that hovers remarkably well. And this one does a pretty good job. I think we need to have a bigger army. I just kind of scattered units around because I want him to just hover for as long as he can. And I really want to see. Now, I like the le I like this thing, but it's basically, it looks like it's just walking in the air. But this one does a pretty good job of hovering. So I'd say this one does, uh, you know, meet the standards of what I was looking for. Okay, we got this big, gigantic thing. It's called plane. This one has something underneath that's living. And so this, oh, it's a little, well, it works. But everything is so gigantic and it flips over. 
So I would say that this one is close, but not quite there. It does fly though, which is good. It's just gigantic. Maybe if I didn't have all this in the front, like if, let's just delete this for a second and let's see if it flies better. Let's try it now. See, I think it'd be pretty easy to actually make a creation that, oh dude, I like that the whole arms move. A creation that f like actually flies pretty well. Oh, you know how we can make this better? We can put uh, things on the on the wings. Okay, let's see if that works. Cause now it's gonna like level out. Yeah, look at that. There we go. That's pretty cool. I like this thing. I took off that big thing in the front because it was too heavy. But you put them on the wings, you can probably make a just an absolutely gigantic creation. The thing I'm saving for last, right? It's last. Is this thing called the Flying Inferno intact? because it looked cool is it got something alive in there i see feet this thing looks very weird like i don't know what's gonna happen here we'll put some little packies in here and see what happens to the pack packies like turning them around so they don't see what's coming i don't think i've ever actually uh played a clip or part of a video on this map before oh <gasps> what that thing is so weird Oh, this creation is amazing. I like it. This makes me want to make something like this. I think I'll try to make a spinning flying inferno creation. That is really cool, Dad. That's really cool. I like that a lot. I'm going to make something. I think I'm going to use this guy because he seems like he has a pretty sturdy base. Should we use the Anki or the Triceratops? Oh, it'd help if I actually clicked on it. The Triceratops also has a pretty sturdy base, but I think we'll use the... In Kylosaurus because it's lower to the ground okay now what I need to do is actually is this the better thing we could just use it like an animal base we don't have to use this we could do this since it's even lower I kind of like this this is probably the best honestly then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our first thing we're gonna do is put a rotator on here okay and we'll make it go very fast we got to get it pretty much centrally placed so that it doesn't do what the other one just did where it's Spun around and freaked out and made everything uneven. Two. Okay. Up, up, up. We gotta get it flat and straight on there. Uh, let's just do it right there. That seems good. Okay, so we got that as our our spinny base thing. And then let's put. Sweet. Okay, it's good enough. Okay. I wanna use these because these are actually. I really like using these. They're really cool. And it's gonna provide us a really cool look when it's completely done okay i'm gonna make it and then i'll show you my final product okay here's what i made i actually think that probably the better thing to do would be to have something that's a little bit higher up off the ground because or at least add another base to lift it to elevate it even more but it's pretty stinking cool i just need to uh I think I need to tweak it slightly and by doing so I would need a new animal base because look at what happens watch this okay I mean it works but it doesn't work quite as well as I would like and you'll see why look at it go there it goes and it does it for a while but then it gets back and it's too low and it won't go any higher right I mean it, it actually works pretty well but you can see that like it like kind of hits the ground a little bit. And so I think it needs to be on a higher base. So something maybe like just maybe just this or I, I think I'd prefer to maybe like this. Maybe a little bit like 1.5. Eh, eh, I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this one, but then like that, that probably would be best at two. Yeah, and you really get, you'd really get, I wish I could just take, copy and paste, pick that up and put it on here. It's like, you can't do that, which is unfortunate, but it does work. It's just not nearly as cool as I would like it to be. I, I, I want to try, I'll try to make it better. All right, let's see how it goes. Uh, the only problem is I forgot to change the stupid health. And so it's not nearly where it needs to be. But we'll see what happens. I think it should work. We'll get a bunch of pigs and then that way we won't feel threatened. Okay. And I think this should work better. And it allowed me to put better armor on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, it still isn't quite what I would want. It's like the lower ones. That's kind of interesting. I wonder why the lower, uh, the lower boosters stop lifting all of a sudden. Did you see that? Watch. We'll do it again. They they activate, they activate on their own, but then it's like, as if they stop right there. Why do they stop when it touches back down on the ground? It's very interesting. I'm not I'm not too sure as to why. I like that the whole thing spins though. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you're having a great day. See you next time.